Hello, Brokersham family. I uh, hope you had a wonderful Shabbat. I hope everyone had really good holidays. Hopefully, hopefully you had some honey cake, some apples. You had nothing on Yom Kippur, uh, but you had a meaningful fast on Yom Kippur. I do pray that. Um, we are here doing Haftalah, and as always, it's just me, and then behind the camera is my wonderful husband, Timothy. So let's get started with um, just our usual blessings. We always have our spices to remind us of the sweet smell of Shabbat, our wine or grape juice <laughs> to remind us of the sweet taste of Shabbat, and then a light to, again, remind us of the light of Shabbat. We take all of these into the next week just to hold us over until we can get to the next Shabbat. So here we go. joy and we say Shavua Tov which means have a good week before I let you all go um, just wanted to share this portion from Psalm chapter 51 Rabbi Ari read it um, I believe I can't remember if he read it for Kol Nidre and Yom Kippur but I know for sure he read it in the morning on Yom Kippur morning and um, such a beautiful psalm. It's a very popular psalm. It seems like I'm always sharing psalms with you guys. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to share this small portion. It's Psalm 51, starting at verse 10. It says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. 
Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors, transgressors your ways and sinners will be converted to you. So we did just have the holidays. Um, we had our 10 days of awe, right? We had Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and we had a lot of reflection during that time. And just something that I was reminded of um, when Rabbi Ari was speaking, um, again, the message is kind of blend together, um, but he talked about Yeshua being this perfect lamb and how um, Yeshua didn't say anything. He was just led away to slaughter and Yeshua was perfect. He was so precious and he was so beautiful and he was so holy and he died for our sins. And I've been walking with the Lord since I was, I think five years old. So I've been walking with him for quite a long time. Some of you have even more years under your belt than I, and some of you have even less, maybe just a year or a couple months or maybe a few weeks. But I love verse 12. It says, restore to me the joy of your salvation. And so often as believers, we forget that joy, that that blood was so precious and it was spilled for us. And Yeshua did it willingly. And he loved us that much that he said, yeah, you said, let me take care of it. And I, I just pray that you all remember that joy, that it comes back to you, whether Again, you've been walking this path of righteousness for 30 plus years or 50 plus years or two days. I just pray that you carry that joy of your salvation with you um, so that you can teach transgressors your ways. Because again, we are here to be the light to the world. So I pray that you do have that joy of salvation around you and that you can reach whoever you can your small circle, your large circle for Yeshua. So Baruch Hashem family, I hope you have a beautiful week. I hope you have um, a restful a restful week after the holidays. Sukkot is coming up, which is so exciting as well. Hopefully we get to see each other under the sukkah and have dinner together, maybe this next coming week. But be blessed, Baruch Hashem family. Shavuot Tov. Have a good week and we'll see you next time.